Hello, and today we're going to be playing Time Machine USA. Yes, this is a brand new Hitler. Looks like Hitler's having a little party over there. Anywho, you notice that Hitler isn't the only leader who's changed. A certain <laughs> certain country has a certain leader who's probably not supposed to be the leader of the country yet, and frankly not even born so as much as i'd love to play is dancing hitler today we're going to be playing the united states where the usa tr D donald trump and a lot of famous people traveled back in time to 1936 and it's pretty much a shit posting meme mod. talk about a big focus tree this is bigger than the base game focus tree and we have lovely ones like gay communes fur furry empire and a Zionist destiny. Oh, in the events tab, we have the coronavirus and lots of different political groups like the Latinos, Trumpists, and Antifa. Ah, uh, yes, so it is 1936, and obviously, we're going to have to go down the most wholesome 100 path, canceling the U.S. elections. Uh, yeah, our economy's not, not, uh, not doing too good, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, we have some pretty awesome generals, like Ted Cruz, Alex Jones, Donald Trump Jr., Mike Pence, Tucker Carlson, and Field Marshal Donald Trump. <laughs> yes, Trump, we have suspended the U.S. elections, 1936 elections, due to the coronavirus. So, is he right? <laughs> or is he literally Hitler? Well, of course Donald Trump is right. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> just suspend the elections due to the coronavirus. Bernie, oh, come on. Donald Trump is obviously the rightful leader of all the United States. How could you not see that? Well, uh, I was just doing the every average thing of changing the colors of uh, my things when all of a sudden, Germany is now in a civil war. Do they, do they really not like dancing Hitler <laughs> that much? I've never seen the AI do that because they really hated those glowing lights. While we're developing a vaccine, I might as well say that <laughs> We have some pretty awesome advisors. Why, why did he put this much effort into this? What? Yes, we have a little system where we have to uh, increase vaccine production. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's uh, that's pretty rad. Wait, civil war? No, this is this is supposed to be a meme mod, not a documentary. So I was like, when does this civil war start? <laughs> I didn't scroll up. <laughs> uh oh. Hey yo, what? Donald. Trump killed by Sanders. What? Oh, I thought that was my civil war. It's just the Spanish civil war. Oh, wait. No, hold on. That is my civil war. Uh oh. Now, that can't be good, can it? I used to have uh, quite a few more divisions to work with here. I, s I swear, every time I look in a different place in this mod, it gets more and more cursed. Yeah, so now with the political power we have, we have a dream team cabinet, might I say, and uh, men on the front line. So, uh,. You have to see how the Civil War goes. Uh, yes. The gamers. <laughs> Get the COD players in the, the battlefield. Bernie Sanders leads the, uh, the anti-Republican coalition. Nice. I think I'm doing fine so far. That's, uh, thumbnail material. Yeah, slight issue. We have zero mills to our name. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to get socialist divisions. Uh-oh. All right, we're slow. While they're running or butting their heads against me, uh, I'm slowly getting rid of the coronavirus, as you can see. It's only left in a handful of states now. Alright, so Jeb here says, plan will work. Oh! Now, no, now that's a screenshot. Might be able to cut the, uh, the coalition in half in a hot minute up here. Hey, hey, watch this. Boom. Oh, wait. <laughs> the Libertarian- Jojo. Jo- Jo- Jorgensen, what are you doing? Looks like their, uh, their little coalition kind of broke apart. <laughs> it's kind of kind of overshadowed my uh, large encirclement here. Of oh yeah, encirclement of basically this entire army because their capital's over here. And we're just they're just melting away at the the socialists. Yeesh. Oh, well, that didn't require too much effort, now did it? Ah uh, yes, <laughs> pro gamer moves. Yeah, <laughs> cause that that's how you're gonna win a war. I swear I had eight destroyers sitting there, and uh, now they're gone. <laughs> hey, you read it. Reddit, how do you like my- oh wait, crap, hold on. And, hey Reddit, how do you like my encirclement? <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice. Vermin Supreme, the greatest politician to ever live. Yeah, look him up. A uh, guy in his boot, comprehensive uh, zombie apocalypse plan, toothbrushing mandate, and like, I'm pretty sure a, p a unicorn for everyone, which I am totally on board with. General Alex Jones has been wounded. 
Ah, man. He's my infantry leader, too. Also, Mike Pence is now a very good general because he has adaptable. Yeah, look at that. Eight divisions just melted away. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Only 300 libertarians, really? So the dark side or the Mike Pence side? Obviously, you have to get away from the temptation of sitting with a woman. I mean, fascist leadership and go with Mike Pence. Yeah, I just told him, uh, aggressive, just go bananas. Cause this is just, this is just satisfying to look at. Honestly, it's a very well-made mod for you know the one specific presidential election. And they're done and out for the count. I didn't even need to take Boston for that to happen. Well, uh, sorry, Jojo, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go in and uh, crush you. Sorry, but uh, I got the full force of the rest of the American economy at, uh, behind me, so. It's not going to be too hard for me to beat you. In fact, I might even make this a time lapse of me just sitting here waiting. And it is done and over with. We got more focuses to do, don't we? Yes, we do. Like rebuilding the country. It's funny, our, our civil war has lasted longer than the German civil war. Hitler's dance moves have prolonged the conflict. I didn't even notice we had uh, Dick Cheney, George Bush, Ben Shapiro, and PewDiePie. <laughs> Why did it have to be PewDiePie? Wait, what the? Two things happened. First of all, South Arabia what? No! What? Where did they come? What? Why? I did Dancing Hitler. I did not do Big Chungus, I swear. And with the last of the coronavirus gone, we can remove the pandemic and get a large chunk of our economy back. Release of the vaccine in all states. Did I see what I think I saw? No. Don't tell me. What the hell is going on? What do you not? They have a focus tree too. Why? Look at those 40 whiffs. Oh my god, I like how Big Chungus started freaking World War II. Ah, uh, hey. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And they're in the middle of a civil war too. That didn't. Re Come on, Hitler. I know you're busy dancing, but that didn't really help, did it? So I was going to mobilize my economy, but you know what? I'm going to go for it now. <laughs> Establish an American theocracy, of course. We got to retake the Holy Land, right? From the, the British. Well, we're an American theocracy now. Our flag has changed a little bit. <laughs> I feel like we have the divine right of God on our side. Well, you know what? I think I'll secure South America. You know, we need to unite the ways of Christianity. You know, teach these Catholics how to be Protestant the right way. Not to mention, remember now PewDiePie, a gamer. Blitzkrieg theorist, yeah! And, uh, poor Big Chungus, but, uh, looks like you're not getting out of this one alive. Oh, I haven't, I haven't seen this one. Oh, wait, no, this is the, no. This is the Ottoman Empire path. No. So yeah, I was gonna wait for my economy to get, you know, fixed up, get rid of this thing, get rid of the coronavirus. But you know what? I think I can take Mexico on with my 2440 whiff division. So let's, uh, let's, oh, they weren't planning. Aw, oh, man. No. Wait, it was the Ottoman path. I knew it. Power of gamers, Mexico City is ours. And yes, we have successfully liberated the Mexicans from themselves because there's nothing more American than liberating indigenous people from themselves all right so i'm on day two of recording and uh because you know it was late last night and i decided to stop you know there won't be an edit but i'm back and guess what this mod got taken off the workshop <laughs> but good thing i managed to play it yesterday because i can just load the save game and everything's all right so sorry if you wanted to play the mod <laughs> you can't now <laughs> and away down south to the land of traitors knock off kim jong-un's in communist Something. Uh, apparently I should not have declared war on Panama. Huh. Now that Vietnam, before Vietnam was a thing, is over, 
and finally merge the two armies and go deal with the problem that's growing on my border. Reddit! How do you like my encirclement for the second time? I'm trying to tell you the POW camps are going to be pretty weird and there's a bunch of South Africans, Germans, Canadians, Saudis, and Romanians all together. Okay, so I went back down and I was like, what the? I'm not at war with Colombia, am I? And I was like, wait, this isn't Colombia, this is Venezuela, M Maduro. I mean, Portugal accepted, Spain rejected, but that doesn't matter. We now have the Christian alliance of Chris Christian nations, of course. We're going to have to probably teach the Spaniards the way of Christianity pretty soon. All right, and so we effectively cut off any meaningful supply from Europe. They're going to have to go somehow all the way around Asia. And if I can get this... Yeah, this guy is Vancouver, the major port. So if I take uh, Seattle back, then they'll basically have zero supply. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Fourth... <laughs> Augustus Pence of Imperium Romanum. Well, on to the crusade. Oh, we got a... I didn't even notice we got new events. I can <laughs> absorb Portugal. Oh, that was uh, that was easy. Um, bada bing bada boom, they're all gone and they're all mine. Ha 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 ha. The word of God. Now that we've retaken Portugal back, we're going to be preparing to invade the rest of Hispania. Might need more than 20 divisions, though. And we're going to gobble up all of Spain. Because... You know, they joined the Allies. If they joined the, the Code Prosperity here, that could have been bad. But, yes, we're going to gobble up Spain and slowly rebuild the Roman Empire. You know, with a little help from uh, this whole continent over there. And the entirety of Spain. Which, I gotta say, is pretty juicy. Mostly it's just more Germans than, uh in Spanish at this point. In the middle of my game, my friend Michael gives me... <laughs> Why is this the funniest part of the playthrough and it's not even Hoi 4? <laughs> Bane is out and down for the count. Oh. Well, that seriously changed things. And so does that. Um. Well, uh-oh. Looks like we're gonna have a little little party here in Germany with the Soviets. What is going on? What? I swear I, I didn't do this. And on Mike Pence's lovely tour around the world, well, Augustus Pence's lovely tour around the world, we're about to capture Berlin. In a matter of here we go, boom, we're expanding quite rapidly. All we need to take out now is India. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! And Germany is gone. Now, all that's left is... <sighs> my two least favorite places on the entire map to get to. I'm gonna... <laughs> Why? Finally, we're going to crush our formidable enemy that is the Luxembourgish... Luxem Luxembourgans. And also, you know, Belgium. And ladies and gentlemen, we have our fleet in the English Channel. Send them across quickly. And... As long as we have minimal resistance, which looks to be the case. Ooh, look at that. And we already have captured a port, which is just dandy. Beauty pie, he's going back to Britain. And we should be all be good. And London. Boom. Wait, who, okay, who's here exactly? Ben Shapiro, Ted Cruz, and of course PewDiePie are all taking a trip to Britain. With the power of Augustus Pence, we have finally taken one step closer to reforming Rome at its height, Birmingham, Liverpool, and London. Finally, there can only be one true king of, of Great Britain. And that is Augustus Pence. Sees oh. Well, it doesn't matter. Basically sunk there. And again, we gotta take out the one faction that stands in our... Why do they have 80... Why do they have so many factories? Holy crap. Finally, we're going to take out, take out our arch nemesis. The one thing that stands in the way of Augustus Pence's might. The British Raj. Anywho, I doubt that they'll have coastal garrisons. 
And I was right. I'm just, uh, if you guys could quickly spread to as many ports as possible, that would be fabulous. Alvalry has arrived, headed by Tucker, Tucker Carlson himself. Oh, I forgot to do this. An offensive, organized Dick Cheney and David Duke needed to kick down the Indian door and the whole thing came crumbling apart. I don't know where all their divisions were. They're probably like, I bet you they're over here. Yeah. A little bit of place. Yeah, I'm not too worried about, oh, here they are. Oh, here, here's all the Indians. Well, well, that solves a lot, but uh, I'm not too worried about this because as soon as the British Raj capitulates, the, the war ends. All right, we're close and we're closing in on Delhi. We may have gotten encircled twice, but that doesn't matter because once we take Delhi and maybe a few other major cities, that should be fine. Bada bing, bada boom. The entirety of all these countries is mine. So uh, give me a moment and I'll be right back. I did the one thing we recaptured the Holy Land. Actually, hold on, I can integrate a few people. I've been at this for a little bit. There's some is ours. So is most of Western Europe, all the Atlantic, and of course we own New Zealand, which was the pride of the British Empire. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing so you can get notified when I upload my next video. Thanks, and I will see you next time.